you have to have your blinkers on because too many voices and too many opinions will, will distract you from what your calling is in life, you know. Box fans here with Anthony Joshua after a devastating knockout win against Robert Hellenius. Uh, AJ, when heavyweights knock another heavyweight out, they normally feel it. They normally feel that that punch land, you know, connect. At that point, when you threw that punch, did you did you feel him? Did you feel him? Did you feel it hitting oh, his skull? Like the vibration. Yeah. To be fair, it actually didn't. I think it was um, it came at such speed. It just kind of you you don't punch the target. I think I went through the target this time. Hence why. He was out for the 10 count. So, yeah, I didn't actually feel it this time, actually. And I haven't knocked someone out in a long time. But it was good to get the W. The good thing as well, I was confident in the rounds. That's why I could take my time. I wasn't rushing. I was comfortable in there due to the fact of going 12 of Usyk, 12 of Usyk, 12 of Franklin. I was like, I'm good with the rounds. So I was comfortable. I was happy. And um, it ended earlier than my mind. I said, I'm going in for a hard 12 rounds, prepare myself mentally. So I'm just happy it ended earlier than what I prepared for. Was there a moment of relief with that? Yeah, I saw you run into the crowd, you came out doing the, you saw the, the, the DX signs, the, the circuit signs and whatever else. Was there relief that you got to knock him out and the way it ended? Uh, it's not so much, just to win, bro. I'll be honest with you, just happy to get another win under my belt. Um, you know, in this game, winning is, is everything. It's so important. So just to get another W was a, was a blessing. London turned up for you again, once again. Throughout. Remember, not only me, remember the whole undercard. I think it was a great show, great turnout. You, you, you guys promote as well. So we all play our part. So yeah, shout out to you guys, shout out to all the undercard fighters as well. But London did turn out for us all. Do you listen to much of the crowd you, when, when you're fighting in there? You just carry on doing your thing, listen to your trainer? So you can hear voices around ringside. So if you want to get your opinion across, buy a ringside ticket, because you can definitely hear it. And then you can hear the echoes vibrating through the through the arena like you can't hear people individually individual shouts are from ringside there the crowd chants uh you can hear them yeah what's left for you in regards to is it the passion in your heart is it the big fights only is it the Deontay Wilders the Tyson of Furies or are you going to be are you are you willing to fight people like a uh, Hergovic or something like that for the next three four years Three, four years. I, I asked you the question. What's you said that? you said you not got long left in, in the press conference, but we don't know how long that is. Three, four years. Hear a lot more of your bullshit about that. <laughs> <laughs> you give me some space, I'll fight for another three, four years. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would. I would. I'll compete with anyone for sure, for sure. And even even the top guys and the lower guys. It's just it's just competition. It's that's saying too much like emphasis on what modern day boxing means. And it's just about staying busy, being an active fighter, learning your trade and um, making the most out of the situation, not overcomplicating it. There's this whole emphasis on like making like this super champion. It's impossible to make a super champion in boxing. It's too competitive. So yeah, it'll be, I, I doubt I'll do three, four more years due to the fact there's too much expectation and pressures that aren't realistic in terms of Crawford just won the undisputed championship, he's done it twice. Fight Canelo, fight Tank, fight this person. It's like, I just realised it's never going to be good enough. So, yeah. Actually, going off that, people are saying, Errol, well, Stephen A. Smith, well known pundit in the US, Spence said Errol Spence should retire. That's Is that why, the pressures of the fighter? That's why I believe that you have to have your blinkers on, you know, while you're competing. Obviously, when you retire, you can then, like, see what life's all about. But while you're competing as an athlete, you have to have your blinkers on because. Too many voices and too many opinions will will distract you from what your calling is in life, you know. I'm sure you've had tough times in life and you've always stayed strong. You've pers you persevered and you're, you are here now and I believe everyone should take that approach. So imagine I was saying, you should retire. You're going to be like, fuck off, wait. <laughs> so I'm sure that's what Errol thinks about people's opinions. He has to do what's right for him. Don't worry about what anyone else says. AJ, just congratulations on a, on a big performance. Um, it's 2.30 a.m. I'm sure you're tired, the whole no, team's no. tired, so thank you so much for no, giving no. us your time. You no, it's cool. Sure? It's, it's late, it's late. You no, just... Any, no, it's cool. It's cool. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time, as always. Thank you.